Hello and welcome back to another video in this tutorial series on using Photoshop CC. My name is Justin and in this video I want to show you a couple of different ways to create animated GIFs in Photoshop. Okay, so I have this uh, image of this tree and I thought that I would make some snow falling. Okay, and we'll go ahead and animate that snow. So, I'm going to go ahead and come over here and create a new layer. Okay, alright, got that new layer and I'm going to select my brush make sure that white is selected and make sure that I have a very small brush head okay and I'm just gonna tap around and create some snowflakes okay like so and I'm gonna do quite a few snowflakes so I'm gonna go ahead and jump ahead in the video so you don't have to sit and wait okay there we go so we've got some snow now I'm going to let's see I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this layer by hitting uh, command or control J and I'm going to come over here to edit, transform, and flip horizontal. Just to flip the snowflakes around and kind of uh, make it look like there's more. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn the opacity down on those just so that there are some faint snowflakes. Okay, just to try and fake that there's some depth going on here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and select both those layers by holding down shift and clicking on the second layer. And then hitting command or control E to merge them together. All right. Now I'm going to come over here to the move tool and hit show transform controls. Okay, now let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and increase the size just a little bit, like so. Okay, like so. And then let's see, move it down. What I want is I want the transform controls here to match up really closely to this top and bottom border here. Okay, something like that. You can see how they kind of, when you really match up there, they turn that uh, magenta color. Okay, and the reason I want to do that is so when I create a second layer of this and bring it up here and I animate it down, I know exactly when to stop so that it'll create kind of a seamless loop with the snow. All right, so let's do that now. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Command or Control J and duplicate that snow layer again. Oops, hit Enter first. Okay, like so. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and move this layer up the top snow layer here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold down shift and then the up arrow key. Okay. And the reason why I'm holding down shift is that they'll actually move faster. If I just do the arrow key, see how it's moving really slow. If I hold down shift and then the arrow key, my layer moves nice and fast. Okay. And I'm going to match that up as best I can. Something just like that. Okay. Okay. Now that I have that where I want it, I'm going to hit enter to commit to that uh, position. I'm going to hold down shift and click on the bottom layer so that now I have both snow layers selected and I'm going to merge the layers together by hitting command or control E. Okay, so now I've merged these layers together. All right, now I have my timeline showing right here. If your timeline's not showing, come up here to window and select timeline. If you're using an older version of Photoshop, this will be called animation, not timeline. Okay, whoops, accidentally deleted that there. There we go timeline okay now I'm going to go ahead and hit create frame animation all right okay so now we have one frame selected okay okay so you have this little icon right here and we can select this icon icon to duplicate this frame okay so I'm gonna go ahead and select that now I have duplicated that frame okay okay so now I have two frames okay now what I'm going to do is select or make sure that my snow layer here is selected Okay, make sure that I'm on my second frame. Okay, not my first frame, my second frame. Okay, I'm going to hold down shift and down arrow key and move all my snow down. Okay, till it lines up again. I'm trying to create a nice seamless animation here. Okay, now I'm going to hit uh, enter or return to commit to that position. I'm going to select my first frame again. Okay, and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to select this. It's select tween. Tween's animation frames. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. And I'm going to leave this at 12 layers. Okay, frames to add 12. And what's going to happen when I click OK, it gave us 12 frames, but it's 12 frames in between what was the original frame and the frame where I moved the position of the snow all the way down. So we have every single position. So let's go ahead and see where it says once right here. I'm going to select forever. 
I'm going to turn off my show transform control so we don't see those things moving around. And I'm going to go ahead and press play right here. There we go. Just like that, we have animated snow. Okay, so that's all there is to uh, creating, you know, the animation. I'm going to go ahead and throw some text on here just for the fun of it. So I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, you know, throw on winter. Why not? Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and right click and a new 3D extrusion from selected layer. All right. If you're not sure what I'm doing right now, please check my video on um, creating 3D text. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and hit, let's see here. I'm going to adjust this a little bit. Let's see. That's not quite where we want it. Maybe more like, oh, like so. That'll be fine. Let's go ahead and select our light. All right. And I'm going to move our shadows. Let's see. Oh, that'll be just fine. And I'm going to go ahead and soften this shadow up a lot simply because everything seems to be soft around this tree. And let's see, what else should we do here? We'll select our text layer here. Again, if I'm moving really fast here, I do have a detailed video on creating 3D text. I just want to throw some text in with this scene. So let's see here. Go ahead and uh, bevel out a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and select uh, my four sides or my five sides of this text and come up here to diffuse and we'll load a texture. I do have this nice ice texture right here. Okay, and we'll just throw that on there. Okay, there we go. Just to create some text. Okay, no problem. And go ahead and uh, press play. So as you can see, we can still add elements to our scene. Okay, and it won't affect our animation. Now let's go ahead and, well, let's go ahead and render this scene real quick. Okay, now that this is rendered, you can see how it's going to look. And yeah, that's great. That's going to work exactly the way we want it to. So I'm going to come up here to File, Save for Web, okay? And save this, okay? Make sure that we have a few different presets here. Make sure that it's saved to GIF. And now the quality right here is pretty low, all right? And that's because it's only set to 16 colors. I'm going to go ahead and set this to 32 colors. You can see it gets a little bit better. It's still fairly low quality, but that's okay. Um, I don't want this to be too large. As you can see, it's only going to be, you know, not even one megabyte. So this is a pretty nice file size right here for a browser to render on a website. You can go ahead and experiment with these all you want. Um, looping options. Mine is set to forever. You can set to once. Mine is set to forever. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And we'll call this a oh, winter GIF. All right. And make sure that it's, you know, in the dot GIF format, G-I-F. And I'm going to go ahead and hit save. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and close this. Now, let's see here. I've got a bunch here already exported. So it's this one right here, the winter underscore GIF. Now, what we can do with this is we can actually embed this on a website. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just drag it down here to my Chrome browser and just let it go so that it opens up in Chrome. And there we go. It is animated. Okay. Okay. Let me show you another way working with video.